Am I missing something here, Raider fans? You know, I'm sitting at work and my phone goes off. Ba-ding! And I look down and it's a Bleacher Report notification. Rap sheet says Tom Telesco is the new Raiders general manager. And I couldn't be happier. I go to the Raiders community tab and it's a dumpster fire. Everybody's got this take. Huh? Mark Davis just found a way to screw it up, didn't he? And I'm thinking, okay, maybe I'm forgetting who Tom Telesco is. Chargers GM thought he made some decent picks. I do a little research. I see this tweet behind me. Looks like some pretty damn good players to me. I've seen this take, not from the majority of Raider fans. Most Raider fans seem to have a brain in their skull and know that Tom Telesco is a 10-year GM that was just fired from a Chargers team because the roster, which is damn good, underperformed under some pretty bad coaches. Now don't get me wrong, every GM's got flaws. He's not great with contracts, but what would you rather have? A GM that can hit it out of the park in the draft and isn't great signing people or vice versa? I'll give you some time to think about it. Done? Okay, because I'd rather have someone who can draft people like Andrew Luck and Justin Herbert. I've seen this being thrown around Well, I didn't want Telesco. He was my third option of Champ Kelly, Dodds, and Telesco. And I go, okay, well tell me why you wanted Dodds and Kelly over Telesco. Or I'll do you one better. Just tell me why you didn't want Telesco. And the answer is always simple. Well, it's not Champ Kelly or Ed Dodds. My brain is going to explode. The reason people are upset that Tom Telesco is our GM is because it's not Ed Dodds or Champ Kelly, two people who have never made a single draft pick or free agent signing in their entire lives. And before you go to the comments and say, well, uh, Champ Kelly signed Jack Jones. No, he didn't. His high school coach signed Jack Jones. The guy who knew Jack Jones got Jack Jones to be on the roster, not Champ Kelly. And my whole thing with Champ Kelly and Ed Dodds was this. They seem to be qualified to be general managers in the league sure i'll give you that but you know what they've never done actually be a general manager and of the three options that were posed to us telesco kelly and dodds who was the one guy who's got definitive proof that he knows what he's doing so now what? You think the locker room is going to explode because they signed Antonio Pierce but didn't sign Champ Kelly? Look, I'm telling you right now, go watch the Max Crosby tape. He goes, listen, I want Antonio Pierce back. You could trade me. And also Champ Kelly too. Yeah, bring him. Listen, Champ Kelly seemed like a nice guy, and I'm sure he could be a great GM one day. But he was brought over with the Josh McDaniels regime. Like, are we just going to pretend like because he became the interim GM that he wasn't a part of the whole McDaniels thing? Now listen, McDaniels had final say on that whole roster, and Ziegler wanted Stroud, and maybe, you know, by proxy, Champ Kelly also wanted Stroud. Maybe that is the case. And Ed Dodds, from all things that I've heard from people that are pretty close to him, is that he is like, you want to talk about born to be a Raider? He is a Raider fan, like to the day he dies. Young kid Raider fan. Looked Mark Davis in the eye and said, I want to be the guy to change this thing. And I think it was really tough for Mark Davis to make the right decision here. He gave you Antonio Pierce. And I'm saying, I'm not saying that he was like, well, I, I'll give you Antonio Pierce if I get to hire the right guy for the GM position. Antonio Pierce was the right guy, in my opinion, to be the head coach for the Las Vegas Raiders. But Tom Telesco has already been a general manager. Mark Davis did not want to go rookie head coach, rookie GM. He didn't want to go interim, interim. And the roster is very important. If we're going to trade up for a quarterback, don't you want a guy who had a hand in the Andrew Luck selection and personally said, I want Justin Herbert instead of Tua or Burrow? Like, what are we talking about? This guy knows what he's doing. And I didn't want to come in here and be super angry about it. But it seems as though people are like, I don't want Telesco. Why don't you want Telesco? Well, because I want a Champ Kelly and Ed Dodds. Well, what's bad about Telesco? Well, they're not the other two. What? I could acknowledge that Telesco isn't great with contracts, but you know what I can also acknowledge? He was fired because his coaches were terrible. Now, did he have a hand in finding those coaches? Yes. I think that's the issue with Tom Telesco. He could never find the right coach 
to fill in the position to make his roster work. Also, the owner had a lot to do with that. They don't have a lot of money in LA. We know what it's like to not have a lot of money either, but I digress. Guess what? Tom Telesco doesn't have to worry about picking the head coach because the head coach is already there. It's AP. Done deal. Doesn't have to worry about going up against Brandon Staley. Don't you think Tom Telesco, with every fiber of his being, wants to build a championship roster in the division that he was just let go from? I could not be happier that the guy who drafted all these people is now drafting for us. Asante Samuel is not even on this list. Another thing you have to consider is this team is one good draft away from being right in the thick of things playoff wise. And the only reason I'm saying that is because if you're concerned about the way that he handles free agency, we could afford to not be great in that department because the roster is already filled with people that can succeed. And all we need to do is hit on a couple of people, including the quarterback position. I have no doubt in my mind that Telesco went in there with a plan to find a franchise quarterback because he did it in Indy and he did it in San Diego, now Los Angeles. And now I think that with Telesco there and AP there, they're going to do their due diligence with Mark Davis to find the correct offensive coordinator. I've seen the Bengals guy in the mix. There's a Browns quarterback coach. There's Cliff Kingsbury. There's the Rams QB coach. A lot of good options out there. I haven't hated a single option. I just think now with the GM, it's going to come fast and furious. I'm happy that Marvin Lewis is in there as an offensive whatever, just basically an assistant head coach to AP to help him with all the decision making. I think that's a guy, you know, he couldn't get it done in the playoffs, but he had a lot of success in Cincinnati. And I think we're sneaky assembling like the Avengers here of assistants and front office people to help Antonio Pierce with anything that he's lacking in the coaching department. I mean, he's only going to get better. But the last thing I'll say about Telesco is this. Just because he's the GM of the football team does not mean that Champ Kelly is no longer with the Las Vegas Raiders. There has not been an announcement that he's been let go. Thank you for your service as the interim. He might have stayed on as the assistant general manager, which is why this was taking such a long time to happen. And I was the one banging the drum for the Dodds Kelly combination. The only reason I wasn't banging the drum for the Telesco Kelly combination is because I didn't think we'd have a legitimate shot to get Tom Telesco. And here we are with Telesco as the GM. I cannot wait for the introductory press conference. This is not Mike Mayock or John Gruden or Josh McDaniels. This is a real general manager who has experience building a roster capable of making the playoffs consistently. And the reason that they did not is because their coaches sucked. And guess what? We've got a good coach. Please stop being angry at such a good signing and stop looking for ways to cut Mark Davis down. I'm so tired of the Mark Davis slander. Does he always make the correct decisions? No, but you have to stop acting like he's an owner who does not care about if the Raiders win or lose. He takes the biggest swings possible, even if it's not financially great to have a chance to bring the Raiders back to what they used to be. So if I hear any Mark Davis slander in the comments, I'll leave him there because I don't censor opinions. But I'm going to come back at you with the fury of a thousand suns. With that being said, I'd like for you to subscribe. <laughs> leave likes, leave comments, join the Patreon over there. Guys, it's literally $1 to join the Discord where we can just talk about this stuff all the time. Like, it's a dollar. You don't have a dollar, Big Mac? And if you like other stuff there, like see in videos early, get your name at the end of the credits, executive producer, Madden subscriber, like all this nonsense. The Madden videos, the franchise mode is starting soon. They're going to be coming out once or twice a week, but, you know, I, I play them all in succession, so they'll all be up there on Patreon. They'll come out once or twice a week on YouTube, but on Patreon, they're going to be up fast and furious. Please be sure to subscribe. We're so close to 5,000. It is free after all. No charge to you. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Tom Telesco. Let's get it.